What's up, y'all? Got a family feast. So let's get to see you guys just with me. So, y'all, we're about to get into um, Krishan Rock's nephew. Um, he is... Girl, I don't know what he's doing, to be quite honest with you. Let's just get into it. All right. Uh -huh. But at the end oh, of the oh, day... Oh, oh. Well, in the beginning, he didn't really say much. To nobody. Okay, let's go. I'm not here to make y'all believe me or nothing. Here we go. I'm, I'm literally just showing y'all how fucked up the world is, nigga. Like, I know a lot of this shit happened to a lot of people. I'm not better than nobody. I'm not worse than nobody. A lot of this shit happened to a lot of niggas, but at the end of the day, I'm here just to show y'all shit deep, nigga, shit real, and a lot of people that don't come out with it. That shit eat y'all alive, my nigga. Real shit. That shit fuck y'all mind up, fuck your mental up, fuck your vision up. You wanna know what the fuck to do, for real. You still stuck on that. But at the end of the day, let that shit out, my nigga. I always been that nigga. I let that shit out. I'm not holding shit in, bro. Everybody used to always be like, oh, you talk a lot. You talk a lot. Yeah, because I believe that if a closed mouth don't get fed, I believe in that fully. Sure. You feel me? Yeah. And then two, I believe in the truth will set you free. Because I, I lied a lot before. I used to lie in relationships. I used to lie to the judges. I used to lie to a lot of people. And that shit never got me nowhere. That shit got me in a no more way. fucked up situation. I'm telling you. So telling the truth about situations, especially about some shit that happened 20 years ago. That scarred the nigga for real. Okay. That shit ain't nothing to me. It's easy now because I know the outcome of lying. And then I know the outcome of truth. So y'all look at it how you look at it. And then the end of the day, that's some foul shit that happened to me. So why would I lie about some foul shit like that? Then that's degrading me, nigga. Everybody looking at me now like, oh, that's the nigga that got molested and shit. That's the nigga that got touched. They're not looking at a nigga music or what he capable of or how far he came. They looking at, he the hurt nigga. You I ain't what you speaking about. And that's how he look now. It's just, it's, they've really. The shit suck. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just hate when he does that. Like, that irritates me. Like, you ain't looking at my music. Like, nigga, that ain't what you presented us with. Mm -hmm. You didn't present us with that. You presented us with that was. So that's, a, of course, that's what everybody's saying. And he should have put that pain in the music. He should have made us listen to the music first. Yeah. He, the, he the damaged child. <laughs> but no, nah, it don't phase me, break me, or make me. At the end of the day, I'm telling y'all, speak speak up while y'all got a chance. Don't take no shit like that to y'all grave. Y'all gonna die some sad motherfuckers. Get that shit off your chest. I don't give a fuck if it's your daddy, your uncle, whatever, nigga. Get that shit off your chest. They got a problem with it, fuck them. Fuck is you talking about? But make sure it's honesty and don't lie on nobody just to try and get clout, try and get a name. No. If it really happened, nigga, get that shit off your chest and protect the next nigga so it don't happen to the next motherfucker. You feel me? That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to get clout I'm not here to get numbers i appreciate y'all showing love but at the end of the day i'm not here for this i'm here being me i came on this is my page i did i came on here doing music chilling i never spoke on that shit all of a sudden my famous people speak on it motherfuckers start to care all right cool now y'all caring i'm gonna let it out and let y'all know what's up but not for y'all to care about me for y'all to care about y'all selves and y'all folks Make sure this shit don't happen to them, bro. For real, that shit foul, bro. It change you, it make you crazy. It throw some shit at you. It throw some shit at your ass. I'm not getting paid for this shit. I'm not getting no money whatsoever from this shit, bro. And you should. You just really should. Nothing. I'm not on nothing. I'm not into nothing. I'm not nothing. I'm just letting y'all know shit real, nigga. It's fucked up. It scar you. It's all right. Let that shit out, my nigga. It feels so good. But don't be all in my DMs. Be like, oh, this happened to me, this happened to me. All right, let your folks know. Let the people that's around you know. So they can avoid that motherfucker. <laughs> like real shit. So they can avoid that nigga. Don't let me know. I can't save you. You probably in a whole different country. I can't save you. Let the motherfuckers that's around you know. Like that nigga ain't right. Well, that bitch ain't right. No, let them know. Let them know. 
If y'all just sit there quiet, it's like you condoning that shit. It's like you cool with that shit. I wasn't cool with it, my nigga. That's why I'm letting y'all know what happened to me. That shit wasn't cool. I did not like it. I did not condone it. I did not want that. So I'm letting y'all know what it is, my nigga. Just because it's coming from a man, don't look at it no different. Women, men, all types of people go through this shit. Motherfuckers be so embarrassed. This one thing. Motherfuckers be so embarrassed and worrying about pride, clout, and shit like that. They're holding shit like that. They're holding, getting tortured, going through crazy shit like that because they don't want to get judged. Man, fuck a judge. Nigga, when the fuck we start caring about a judge? Y'all go to court and lie to that motherfucker. Why the fuck y'all worrying about him now? You feel me? No. Get that shit off your chest. Live your life, my nigga. I promise you. You'll be straight. Yeah, and if it's one of them John Wick motherfuckers, you know, I call them John Wicks because it's, it's one of them molesters you scared of. Shit, go to somebody they scared of and tell them. You'll be amazed what can happen. <laughs> like real shit. You'll be amazed. Get that shit off, though, man. Trying to tell you. Get that shit off, y'all, man. Real shit. I feel him. It ain't it. I'm not here to make y'all believe me. I'm here to let y'all know the world fucked up, nigga. We in this shit now. Don't don't cop out now. Just let it go, bro. Let it go. Stand. Well, that don't make sense. The world messed up. Just let it go. And he's not letting it go. It just don't make sense here. Don't. I think he just don't even be knowing what to say. He just want to speak. Fuck that. I know your team, my nigga. Don't just look at me like I'm somebody special. This is a lot of niggas like me. Them niggas be worrying about pride it, and shit, man. He's saying let it go. Hold on, this loud ass truck about to come. Hold on. It be loud. He means let the secret go. Oh, okay. come with this shit. Even speaking the truth, a lot of motherfuckers, it's another thing I want to speak on. Let me sit down with this, because you know I got metal leg and shit. I got metal rod in my left leg, so let me sit down real quick. A lot of shit come with the truth, too. A lot of shit come with the truth, too. That's why I want to teach you. A lot of shit come with the truth. People going to hate you. Motherfuckers, some of us see why we got pride issues, because some motherfuckers will judge you for that. Like, oh, you got molested, ew, da, da, da. Bro, fuck that shit. At the end of the day, worry about you and your temple. You dying. When you die, you die alone, my nigga. You don't die with nobody. I don't give a fuck with a nigga right with you. The nigga can be right beside you. Y'all shoot each other at the same time. You're going to your spot alone. I don't know where the fuck your spot at. I don't even know if it is a spot. I just know when that motherfucker go night-night, you going alone. That right. nigga's not with you. So, <laughs> so... Yeah, y'all can link up or whatever later on, however that go. But realistically, motherfuckers that die, they die by themselves. <laughs> they die by themselves. So, yeah, man, get that shit off y'all chest, bro. People gonna judge, people gonna look at you crazy, whatever, whatever. At the end of the day, put your pride to the side, get that shit off your chest. I guarantee you, you can breathe a lot better. I've been got this shit off if my If him and his mama make a podcast, things will be different. But the thing is... He's too busy not trying to make money from it. She's busy trying to make money from it and don't know how to do it. Yep. He was asleep earlier. Every chance he get, he want to say he ain't making no money from it. He wants to sound as humble as he can. Y'all, nothing is free in this world. I don't all. understand that. I don't get it. You need to sit in that chair for free. No, that's not how that works. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. This is work. I, I just don't get it. I just 20 years ago. I've been breathing fine. That's why the story can come out so perfectly and normal. Because it already been out. This shit ain't shocking to me. This ain't hurtful. It's shocking to the world to see how sick motherfuckers can be. Cool. That's what I'm here to show y'all. I'm not nowhere, bro. I'm not rich as fuck. I'm not no I'm a normal nigga. World fucked up. Even when I'm rich, I'm gonna tell y'all this. The world fucked up. It's fucked up. Swallow that pride, my nigga. Why did I kidnap that woman? That's a fake charge. Same girl that put the kidnapping charge on me in my, actually in my inbox now, I'm talking about she missed me. Uh, ain't that crazy? I ain't know you can kidnap someone and they miss you. Like, 
Come on now. And last time I checked, kidnapping was a light charge. Why the fuck am I home? And I'm not known for no snitching. But back to, like I was saying, put your pride to the side. You feel me? Uh, they done looked up his charges and thought he was about to be like, oh, because I, I kidnapped her because. Pride no. To the side. For real. I put my pride to the side. Hey, there ain't no victim. Yeah. I'm not nothing. I just want mm -hmm. y'all to be straight. I ain't here to be better than nobody. Yeah, there's a lot of fraudulent women out here, too, that get a nigga locked up for no right. reason. But that's another topic. I just need to finish with this one first. And then we can move on to the next one. Let's finish with this one first. It's child molesters out here. Watch y'all folks. Take care of y'all selves. Tell the truth. Fuck this clout shit. Fuck the cameras, bro. Tell the truth. Try and tell you. Tell the truth. Like I said, two of my uncles, they apologized for that. It's the females that didn't. It's three of the females that never said sorry to a nigga. That's why it's even constantly even still even on a nigga mind, too. Because it's like, and damn. even if they did. Y'all motherfuckers bringing me back up. But y'all can't even <laughs> say sorry to a nigga. Even behind closed doors. The men did it. Why the fuck the woman can't? That's a lot of shit. That we need to Do y'all think if they apologize, he would be fine? No, he wouldn't, y'all. Check with the world. Not saying nothing against women, but a lot of women got leeway even when it come to fucked up shit. That's why when this molestivity shit got bored out, niggas look at it different because it's a man. They like, oh, he just doing this for clout, da da da. But a female do it. Y'all get that nigga locked up. Y'all do all types of crazy shit, and it can be a lie. I just seen niggas go to jail for shit that wasn't even true. Nigga ain't touched that girl. They just went off of it because it was a girl. So that's crazy, my nigga. Picture it being you. Fuck it being a woman or a man. Picture it being you. What the fuck would you do? Me, I chose to tell the truth about it. Get it off my chest. Move on. It ain't breaking me. It ain't making me. Get it mm. off your chest. Move on. You're not moving on, man. For real. What about a lot of tests? I passed one before. I, I'm pretty sure I can pass this one, too. Give this, a, I passed one before for me. It's a lie detector test. Why it had to be a test involved? Why the can't the motherfucker just stand up on their ten toes and be like, I'm sorry? I I'm, 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 apologize. Back up off me, brother. I apologize. At least be like that if you feel the type of way about your name being boiled up. At least be like, look, I'm sorry. Just leave me out of it now. All right, we good? We even? Boom. That's not enough. It be like that. You feel me? That's not even enough, though. But you that wouldn't even be enough keep... for me. Eh. <laughs> like the white boy used to say, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> That's what they want to do. So, you know, sometimes in order for somebody to grow, you got to give them discipline. My discipline is truth. I tell the truth. Quick as shit on the motherfucker to sit them back, make them think. Like, damn. Strahd. Motherfuckers try to call me. Cause that's how you know this shit getting real. Mm -hmm. Shit getting real. They they calling now. They like, ring, 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 ring. Yeah, I bet y'all is gonna call now. <laughs> but like I'm saying, I'm here to make sure y'all straight. Everybody straight. Everybody good. And yeah, watch your folks, man. Even watch the streets and your folks. If you got good people, stay blessed. If you don't, let niggas know. So y'all can not even hurt them. Just Get away from them. Why the fuck is y'all hanging around niggas that do foul shit? That's what I don't get. I even tried being corrupt one time as a little kid growing up past that. Like when I got molested, after I got molested, I grew up past that and tried to talk to my aunt. Was tried to talk to my aunts. Them niggas never said sorry. They just looked at it like it never happened, bro. So that's why I distanced myself. I got the fuck away. You will never see me up there chilling with the people. I don't know these people's birthdays. I don't know what they doing right now as we speak. I don't know nothing. You feel me? I, I, I back off. I just... So many things. Yeah, it don't matter about the age. It don't matter about none of that. It's a matter of people will do shit like that to your folks. It don't matter what age you are. I don't give a fuck y'all the same age. If this motherfucker 
don't want to touch this motherfucker and y'all related? Like, how is that cool? Y'all making it like it's cool to fuck on y'all folks because it was a decent age. That's how y'all sound and the people that's commenting that crazy shit. Y'all making it cool to say it like, oh, we fucking our folks because we the same age. So y'all niggas might be fucking y'all folks and y'all cool with it because y'all the same age. If y'all into that shit, keep me out of it. This is a damaged nigga live. This is a molested nigga live. This is not no, I'm cool with it live. So if y'all cool with that shit, take y'all ass over there. Don't come over here, shorty. For real, don't come over here with that crazy shit. Y'all talking about age, this age, that. So it's cool? It's cool because we the same age? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Like, don't do not do that. Be common sense to me. I know a lot of people be a little slow, too. But be common sense to me, baby. You got to grow up. You got to... This world wicked. We don't do that. We don't do that over here. Especially the way I grew up, nigga. I did not like it. I refuse. I don't hang around people. I'm actually... Man, every kid I bring around love me. Because I'm the last nigga that'll try that. I'm the last one. Last one. You better ask about me, nigga. All them kids. Man, I had kids that wasn't even my children talking about they want to grow up like me. The fuck? That's okay. crazy. And that got to my heart. Because I even told them little niggas, y'all want to be better than me. You feel me? Even the kids that wanted me to be their daddies and all. I'm not your daddy. I'm your friend. I help you out anytime I need, homie. Like real shit. This man, I don't know through, what's up. Brian, that's all I've been crazy. saying this whole time. What? All I've been saying. What you been saying? Sam keep contradicting. Yes, yes, I agree with that. We gonna eighty six this one too. Um, over it. I I just. One minute. It ain't about money. The next minute, when he get rich. Uh, another minute, he don't give a damn about it. Just, you know, want to let it out, get over with it. If they apologize, everything cool. But the men that apologize, he keep bringing them up. It's a lot with this that's just not... Him talking to us, it, it ain't going to help. A lot of us have experienced that and I have experienced it the same way, but have experienced it. And none of us want to, none of us want to revisit that, y'all. Sure, I swear. None of us. Oh. And he just keeps revisiting it. And um, them bringing it up is even crazier because if they saying that it's a lie, then why, why would they bring it up? I don't understand that either. So... I ain't 100% on the team with him. Um, but he is definitely bothered by it, for sure. He makes my head hurt. Yeah. But we done with this video, man. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.